And, but what they were trying to promote was 100% our beauty. 100%. You know, a thing that was thing with long view, which is really good. But 100% the beauty of the state. You know, you can come and you can set up, set up on top of cynical rocks and you can see forever. You can see the stars and it's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I can't get up on those rocks. <laughs> you know, and there's a lot of me's out there that want to come to West Virginia. And so we need to show not only the beauty, but we got to show what you do. And we got to show what you have here and what you offer for me to come here. Because I can't get to the rocks, you know. I just can't. So the long and short of it is, you know, my specialization is marketing advertising. And I've done that, you know, my specialization in my MBA degree, rather, was marketing advertising, a long time ago. But I'm intrigued by that. I've always been intrigued by that. And I'm a guy that's a marketer, too. And so, I'm the guy that always said, and you get tired of maybe hearing this, but it's true. You know, any frog that's not proud of his own pond is much of a frog. It's right. It's just dead right. You know, we in this state forever just tell it like it is. We walked around with our heads down. We walked around knowing we should know our place. We should know our place. Our place ought to be in a food fight to see who's going to be dead last. That was from Mississippi. Well, you know, we shouldn't be that. You know, because we're West Virginia. For God's sakes of living, we have the most spectacular state on the planet. And we got you. We got you. The real treasure. The real, real, real treasure. Everybody that comes to the Green Rock, right here, you know, so many times, you know what they do? They don't tell, they don't call me on the phone, you know, when I'm not governor. They don't call me on the phone and tell me the rooms were spectacular or the golf course was unbelievable. Sure, they think that, but you know what they say all the time? They mention the people. Always they mention the people. Our single biggest treasure, and yet we walked around forever with our head down. Doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I'm not going to speak with you forever here today. You know, I'd be glad to answer any questions. If you've got a question on something, don't be too tough on me. But, uh, but I would just leave you with this point. And I, I can't get this out of my mind. And, you know, I, I come, I don't ever have notice because I just, I, just I just want to tell you what I think and what I really think. Yesterday, I was at a really tough event. There was a young kid, he was 17 years old, he was in, Blue, in Bluefield, and his, his name is, they call him Lil, L-I-L, Tony Webster. And Tony was lifting weights in the weight room and then just collapsed with a brain aneurysm, 17 years old, and died. Now, I'm telling you, a great family, great, great family. So a tragedy beyond belief. And, and you know, Tony's tragedy is, is not, I mean, we have lots of tragedies that happen. And, but it, to me, it struck home in such a way because I knew this was going to be the case. But I walked into the Brush Fork Armory and there was a thousand people there. Again, it's you. It's us. It's us. It's us, the real treasure. The real, real, real treasure. It's the people that work here at the Greenbrier. It's the people that work with you guys every day, whether they work for you or with you, and I don't, I don't believe in the four deal, they work with you. It's us. It's us with the God has given us and said, you, here's your hand, West Virginia. We're going to give you the greatest seasons on the planet we're going to give you the greatest resources from a standpoint of tourism, whether they be our incredible mountains, our incredible rivers, our incredible, you know, just hunting and fishing opportunities, our incredible streams, on and on and on and on. 
I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that as your hand. And you're going to be in the hospitality business. If you can't figure this out, and you want to walk around with your head down, and you can't figure this out, you're not much of a frog. So, at the end of the day, we can't figure it out. And we've got to have somebody that's willing to step up the plate and say, we're going to devote real emphasis and real dollars, real dollars. And we're going to do something about our state parks. We're going to do something about hospitality in the state. We're going to explode from a tourism standpoint within West Virginia. We can do it. We can do it. And now, you know what? Now we got the ball, the snowball going down the side of the hill. And maybe I'm the snowball. Well, I would say to you just this, and I'll promise you this. If you get in the way of the snowball, it's going to hurt some. I'll promise you, because it's going to keep rolling. And this snowball is rolling now. And you know what? I want, especially all you young fellows and ladies, to remember when it started. When it started. You know, because now it's not, you're not going to be able to stop it. Now even the naysayers are jumping on board saying, you know, for every dollar we spend on tourism or hospitality or whatever in this state, it brings us in eight to 14 times those dollars. By God, we ought to spend that money. <laughs> Even the naysayers that said, oh, we can't do that. We don't have any money to do that. Even the naysayers. So, so I congratulate you. Now, like I said before, God has given you the ball. <coughs> He's given you the ball. I think I said this in the state of the state. I don't know if you ever saw that or not. And then I'll end with this. If I if if I did I don't if I did say this and everything and you saw it just bear with me. If you haven't heard this and you're little fellows and whatever, listen, really listen. First of all, if I were to say to any of you in this room, how do you get better? How do you get better at anything you do? I bet you a lot of you don't have a clue. And, you know, if I'd say that to a ball team, I'd say that to General Motors. Most of the time, most of the time people are going to say, well, you're more dedicated, more focused, you practice harder, you be more determined, you be more passionate. All that's right. Every single bit of that's right. But now I'm going to give you real life wisdom, real big time wisdom right now. The way you get better in this world is admit you're doing something wrong. That's the first thing you got to do. That's the very, very, very first thing you got to do. It's the foundation of everything we've got. When you get saved in the church, stand up and say, I'm doing something wrong. When you're an alcoholic, the only way you're really going to climb out of being an alcoholic is stand up and say, I'm an alcoholic, I'm screwing up. You'll be on your way that fast. Now, the last bit of wisdom is this. And this goes back to God has given you the ball. It counts three, two. Counts three, two. All of us know something about baseball and softball. It counts three, two. You're in the field. Meaning you're on second base or you're in right field or you're somewhere out in the field and the other team's batting and it's the last bats in the last inning and you're one running in. And the bases are loaded. The bases are loaded. You're one run ahead. The count on the batter is three, two. And there's two outs. There's two outs. The count on the batter is 3-2. The bases are loaded. You're standing at second base, or right field, or wherever it may be. And you're hitting your glove. And you're talking to the pitcher. And the pitch is getting ready to be on the way. Are you hitting your glove and saying, God, please don't let them hit me the ball? <laughs> please. God, don't let them hit me the ball because I'll muff it up. Please don't let them hit me the ball. I tell my ball team this all the time. If you're that person in life, you're never going to be nothing. You're never going to be anything. We're all afraid. And we all muff it up from time to time. But you've got to convince yourself to pound your glove and say, I want the ball. Hit me the ball. I'll make the play. Hit me the ball. I'll make the play. I want the ball. 
God has given you these incredible seasons, these incredible resources, the incredible people, everything. You're within a rock's throw of two-thirds of the population of this country. You've got a governor that's willing to just be all in, all in, all in, all the time. If you can't figure it out, shame on you. God bless all of you. Thank you for having me.